Hello guys, who here, back in another video. This time around, ideas for not only 2022, but also for the future, or things that might be able to be implemented in the game. So I suggested in the past, you know, both Paragon system and Delve, and that was implemented. So thank you so much for implementing those. I'm not claiming it was solely my idea, but I, I, I thought about it. You know, you guys maybe saw it. You guys maybe implemented uh, on on that background that I, you know, talked about it. So that's why I'm doing another video. So these ideas is not only my own, it's also from the community. Uh, but if you have any ideas, you can go down to the description and put them there. Maybe Andrew and Adam sees them down there. So also thank you to Adam and Andrew for watching this video, of course. But I want to put it into three segments. One segment being like the most important thing and maybe in addition to what is happening this summer. I know you guys are already working on it. You guys haven't told us yet. You say that we are getting Bomberell Season 3, which I'm very happy. That was actually one of my points. So I'm take, I took that one out. So, so uh, I'm happy that we're getting Season 3. And I hope that seasons are going to be more regular instead of being sort of very sprouts around. I hope like we can have like seasons coming forward more being more regular not maybe a hundred percent on like half a year every time or every year or something like that but like more consistent in you know the seasons as we can make you know videos for it or content around bomber real but also we got you know about 15 other ideas that i think was kind of uh, important or something I would love to see or other people would love to see in the game. And then the last segment or the last part is Sunfest because that last video I think that Sunfest was a little bit lackluster so I have a few ideas that we hopefully we can make Sunfest as great as I think it should be. I think it's the most important event we have the whole year. I think it's just be spectacular but I'll get to that at the end of the video so thank you guys so much for all the the watching i really appreciate it and of course any thoughts ideas stuff like that on what i'm saying is of course very welcome in the comments so enough with the intro let's jump into the very first segment all right in the first segment we are going to talk about endgame endgame is very important in trove and i think that delve is a great addition uh, it's also something like i said before i suggested as well it solves a lot of problems in trove because it's never ending you can challenge him as much as you want but it also helps out new players so you don't really have to carry them if you don't want to they can just do them by yourself but you can also carry some people to getting some crystal four gear if you want to do so so this opens a lot of opportunities for an in-game but I think we need a an additional in-game as well I don't think it should replace Delve I think Delve is great as it is uh, but we should get a sort of a new uh, a new uh, in-game that is very much uh, fun and interactive and stuff like that I've been looking at different games I've been looking at games that I play uh, for in-game ideas you know I got the delve idea from uh, Path of Exile uh, also from uh, Diablo 3 of course with the greater rifts and all that stuff but I haven't found an idea that sort of works in Trove but also is fun and interactive and is very different from what we do and all that stuff so i usually say to people when they are uh, unhappy with some stuff i usually tell them to uh, you know provide their idea right and or say why they are not happy with the thing and i'm not unhappy with anything in trove i just think that we should get something additional and get some ideas out of that so instead of just saying hey i don't like this uh you know and just stop there actually provide some ideas so that devs has a chance of actually say oh they want this okay okay this is something we can implement how can we implement this with our ideas and and with the way we want to move the game and all that stuff so uh unfortunately i'm in that situation uh but i'm not saying i, I dislike uh you know delve anything i think we should just have an additional system that also provides some other form of end game instead of just being delve delve is great and like i said it solves a lot of problems but uh and it's not a problem solved in game we need we just need a, uh, some additional in game as well uh, because we got a lot of early game mid game stuff and again we do have some end game but we are really looking into having some and that might actually be the idea that this big event uh, or not a big event but big update coming this summer is going to be about 
uh, we'll have to see. Uh, you, you guys haven't, you know, Adam, Andrew, you guys haven't provided information yet, but you are brewing on something big, you said. So very much looking forward to that. I feel like uh, the BART update was it was huge in last year. Uh, and I hope that uh, we are going to see like a class next year. So like this year, it would be all about in-game or even bigger systems or anything like that, right? And then next year we could look at a new class and then the year after that i think we should be looking at a new class again oh no sorry not a new class but uh in 2024 we would be looking at a uh, maybe not end game but just at least something big that changes a lot of stuff or whatever right because um i don't think we should get a new class every single year that would be feeling like a little bit too much but every other year i feel like we could get uh, an additional class and even you're sure it's already 17 classes and that's a lot for a new person but a new player you know uh, you know it's gonna be always gonna be a big game no matter how when you jump into a game that is like seven eight ten years old there's always gonna be a lot of content to cover so we just have to uh, you know manage all of that but I, like I said, I really don't have any additions to this, so I don't want to make this a, even longer and drag this out. But I just wanted to mention, I think the biggest thing we need right now is going to be Endgame. As I, you know, you probably saw on the screen from this whole time. Endgame, that's what we are looking for. But unfortunately, I do not have any ideas. So if you guys are not going to bring us new Endgame... Uh, that's all right. I totally get that. Uh, maybe you guys already have some amazing ideas. I'm looking forward to seeing what it's going to be. Very much uh, excited to see whatever, like I said, it's going to be. But that was like the big idea thing, the thing that I feel like the title of what we should be. Uh, but I also have some additional minor, uh, minor ideas that I want to go over in the next segment, which we might as well just jump to now. So for segment number two, we are going to talk about smaller ideas and I'm going to put all the ideas, all 15 ideas on the screen right here and I'll go over them once or, you know, a little bit more of some. Some of them I'm just going to mention because I really want them to be done. Uh, so because it's sort of lacking uh, stuff that was implemented and it's cool if it's not going to be but i'm going to keep mentioning it because I really want to complete all of this stuff and it just feels uh, you know, a little, uh, my OCD, my gaming OCD is just sort of like tingling because of them not being finished and we've been waiting a long time for it. And sure, it may not be something that is not uh, going to be ever implemented, but I'm still going to mention it because I really, uh, really want it to uh, get done. I also actually told Moby back in the day when I did an interview with him that these were the things I wanted to have implemented, but you know, uh, maybe there's just not any time for making all of these. But Enough rambling, let's jump into the very first idea. The first one is more class gems and then more stats on gems. I know it says uh, crystal tier gems further down, also more stats gems or more stats on gems because I think it's very important that we get more stats on gems and also cl more class gems makes more diversities in build and that's what I really thought we were going to get when we got the rings. I really was hoping that that was going to be the thing but yeah we just didn't <laughs> get more class gems. We just got the rings effect and that's cool and all that stuff but I just wanted to see more class gems, more stats on them, different stats on them so there's just more build diversity instead of just saying this is how you're going to you know create every single class. So just more class gems creates more uh, build diversity. So also now Crystal 5, that's of course Crystal 5 gear, you know, also Crystal 5 rings, uh, Crystal 5 in, in, in general, but that maybe is some in-game stuff. We might see more of that. So I don't want to go more into detail about that. I just want to say Crystal 5 is a cool if we got that. It just would seem weird that we got Shadow 1, 2, 5 and then... You know, we got Radiant and Stellar, that was only one tier. And then we got, of course, Crystal up to four. And maybe we'll get Crystal five, that would be great. So idea number three is Cosmic Drake. The Cosmic Drake, of course, we've been waiting a lot of time for that one. Cosmic Drake uh, is something that I think we should be implemented because, you know, we got the, the, you know, the color Cosmic, but we don't got the Drake for it. That comes with also the Forbidden Spires dragon. We got two of them. And if you didn't know, there is supposed to be five dragons or five mounts. Uh, the one for each of the, you know, south, north, east, and west. 
And then, of course, there should be like an ultimate uh, middle guardian dragon whatever you're gonna call it but that's with the five and we only have two of them so we're still missing three that's one of the things that i talked about before like with the cosmic uh but also with the forbidden spires dragons that we should uh, finish that thing out then we got of course leviathans that's five we should do something different with leviathans i think there's a lot of opportunities to put them in maybe shadow towers or in you know the uh, ever shores of ever dark you know maybe just put them out i don't know if it makes sense lore wise uh, to put them in these places but they are creating a lot of lag because people are hunting them right they keep hunting them and such so really uh could be great if they actually got moved out of it and it's just someplace and you know shadow towers they took over shadow towers they're what much stronger than the the enemies in in shadow towers although they push them out and you can do all sorts of uh things there with that and also shadow towers doesn't really work anymore except for the badges and such like that but anyways enough with the leviathans i think it should be do done something with them at least then we got idea number six that is rework of the arcane and, and martial emblems Right now, they are very mandatory. They are mandatory for every single build. So maybe some sort of rework to it or implementation or something like that. I don't know what exactly can be done, but some sort of rework to them. Uh, so they are not super, super necessary. Uh, they are great emblems, but it just either they are just they just have that. Or maybe, you know, it could be a third, maybe a third slot for emblems. I don't know. Uh, maybe two is just enough, but you just only have either you're going to use arcane or you're going to use the the martial arts thingy and then some other emblems so it's the only choice you really have again build diversity uh again with the emblems is this going to be there okay so idea number seven is of course like i said the crystal tier of gems um i know it has to we have to rework all our gems to do so or acquire new gems and make those perfect and stuff like that but it does create gameplay and I know that maybe it's not most inspired gameplay, but you know, they could be uh, definitely be a thing. Uh, I would say prior, it's not like a priority list. I should maybe I should have mentioned mentioned that in the beginning. This is not like idea number one, and then like to fifteen, like fifteen being the the worst idea <laughs> or whatever you should prioritize one to fifteen. No, that's not really how it all works. But it's just numbered, so I could say. So you guys know where I'm at, right? Then number eight, I talked about this a reputation system, a faction system. You know, you do dailies with different factions. We do have factions in the game. So uh, something sort of a reputation system as we see in many MMOs and stuff like that. So you can buy exclusive stuff for these factions when you hit certain points like, you know, uh, honored, revered, exalted, all that stuff. That's from World of Warcraft. But, you know, same system could be cool as well as a reputation system. We sort of got a um, sort of a reputation system in a way of a paragon levels, you know, the paragon levels never ending and hidden specific and stuff like that. But faction reputation system, that would be amazing because that'll also be some daily quests you can do every single day. That's going to bring you reputation and that's going to, you can work on one reputation at a time or whatever you want to do. Then, of course, we've got 200 Geode Mastery. Mastery right now, uh, we are missing. Uh, we only have 100. We could get it to 200, you know, because we I think we have enough points to actually get to 200. So that's just a, you know, implementation of 200 uh, Mastery, basically. Anyways, the next thing is I'm t uh, I've been thinking about an enchanting profession so you can add additional stats. It could be to gems. It could be to, to the gems. Uh, we sort of have that right now with the Pearl system, but we could... Uh, modify or something with the enchanting I, I'm not completely worked out what enchanting should be but in, enchanting is just something that is in a lot of games and stuff like that so I just thought about it maybe cool maybe it doesn't work maybe we we already have it with the pearl system but enchanting or enchanting could replace the pearls maybe or you just use the pearls as a crafting materials a crafting material in the enchanting and then you can more specifically target uh certain stats and stuff like that and chant stats or you could go out into the world and you could obtain like in a you know um, uh, in minecraft you can get yourself these books right you can get a book and then the book you can put on an item you know and the same thing could be here if you go out there and you farm specific things you know have a chance of 
dropping that book that you can then take the book and in, you know enchant it onto the item or whatever uh, maybe exclusive stuff or something like that you can only get it at delve or you're going to get in you uh, geo top side or in the caves or something like that targeted books and then there's a random whenever you, it's going to drop right so sure that could be very cool as well then idea number 11 that's a paragon uh, level leaderboard for classes and max so we can see uh, who has the most uh, you know paragon levels for uh, the class i know that it resets on a thousand but then it could just count until two thousand and one thousand and two and so on so on even though people's own reset basically so just keep going it actually feels poc uh, number one one of the number one uh, people on mastery the guy uh, he had this idea so i just wanted to shout out um him as well so feel po feels pog came up with this idea and i think it's just great to see this sort of leaderboard uh to see who is actually you know gathering all this uh, uh who is actually the most paragon levels in the game or who has the most like maxed who has the most paragon levels of all of them and per class and such so that's just the leaderboard idea as well then idea number 12 is a dust dealer so what is it what i what do i mean by a dust dealer well a dust dealer is sort of just a guy that would just like luxion and dark luxion uh those come every 14 days there could be a dust dealer every wednesday or every other wednesday it doesn't have to be every wednesday but every other wednesday it could be a guy that shows up in the hub and you can go and you can trade your dust to something else of the dust uh, especially cosmic dust cosmic dust i have so much cosmic dust and i wish it has some sort of use function except uh, for other than just leveling up your gems because you also get cosmic dust from you know deconstructing crystal gear so a dust dealer would just be much better you can, you can trade your gear or maybe you also buy gems and stuff like that like just a dust dealer that's going to be in this, the the hub every wednesday because that's a gem day right so that would make sense doesn't have to like i said doesn't have to be every week it can be every other week or so and you can have a, the dust dealer just bring you uh also exclusive deals maybe you know on luxurious boxes or something like that all sorts of things with dust and you can you know trade that dust into other dust or and, and you can keep a limit on it like 10 trades per dust to into something else i know that or just cosmic dust could be turned into one of the other colors and you only can do it 10 times uh, every time he's there and then you can put you know, let's say if you put a limit on how many times you can do it on each dust and stuff you can actually you know have them come every week or something like that that could also be cool that makes it a lot easier um to to talk about it but dust dealer something you can trade your dust for something else that's just uh whatever uh, then I have refer as friend system. The refer friend system should be just. I think it should be revamped. Uh, I don't know into what, but I feel like the refer friend system could be reworked into something else. I think it's a little bit outdated. Uh, it's it's actually okay as it is right now. There's not nothing wrong with it per se. I think it's just maybe it should be looked at once and see if that's something that we uh, maybe should you know mix up a little bit but refer first in system is 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 great it's fine as what it is i wouldn't say great but i wouldn't say it is fine as it is then 14 we got primal block inventory so i think we should get an inventory just for the primal blocks because primal blocks there is you get so many and it just like clutters your whole building inventory so i think we should just get a primal block inventory or a tab for primal blocks that primal block goes into instead of mixing it up with all the other one like del uh, gateways and all that stuff and uh, everything else basically so uh, just a primal block it's just a huge inventory or huge inventory um that you know contains all the primal blocks and can only be placed primal blocks into so i think that we can have that sort of a uh, tab so last idea is reward for playing the pts server so i will link down in the description a link to sea of thieves actually that also has like a test server and you can uh, go test it every i think it's every friday they have a new patch and stuff like that and of course i don't think that we should uh like be able to play the pts server every friday or whatever but whenever the pts server for trove is up there should be some sort of reward system for playing a certain amount of time so if you play like for an hour on the test server you'll get some flux in the you know the main game like in the live game right um 
I know this caters only to uh, PC people, but the PTS server is open to everyone, so everyone can get on it. Uh, also, console people can get on it if they have a PC, right? But it, this is mostly just for uh, having an incentive for people to more play the PTS server. It's like if you play this, the PTS server for an hour, you know, you can also just, yeah, sure, people might all just be AFK. I, I get that, but at least people are getting on it. And if they have to be AFK for an hour, maybe, you know, people are going to be like, ah, I might as well just play around, right? And then they might play around and feel like they want to test out a few things and if they test out a few things, they might as you know be incentive to play more on the PTS server. I know you guys get great feedback on the PTS server, but I'm just saying it could be maybe more. It could be an idea to get some rewards from that, or you would get like uh, you, you know not like just flux, but uh, well, it could be just be flux, right? Because that's what you get from the Sea of Thieves. You just get gold, but. It's the same thing would just be flux. If you play an hour, you get maybe a thousand flux or something like that, and you can say. That's a little bit low, but it could also be 10,000 or something like that. I don't know. Uh, or an XP coin or something like that. Like, or an XP potion or something like that. Whatever uh, for playing an hour on the PTS server. Uh, just, just an idea for some rewards for playing the PTS server. So that was all 15 ideas. It takes a little bit long to get through every single one of them. But that's what I had. So before we end, I want to talk a little bit about Sunfest. All right, let's talk about Sunfest 2022. So first of all, I want to say we should bring all the back, all the old stuff. All the old stuff is, uh, you know, cool. I, I love all the old stuff. That's great. Uh, but let's bring all the back, the all the old stuff. Just let's get that out of the way. That I think we should get all, at least all the old stuff back. We didn't get that last year. I hope we're gonna get all of it this year. So. I also want to say we should maybe expand on the daily quests you can do because there's a there's a few daily quests as far as I remember, but I think we should get like even bigger daily quests and that's going to reward even more. I think the general idea about uh, Sunfest is that you should be rewarded uh, like very generously, very generously you should be rewarded for a Sunfest, like even to the point where you're feeling like you are actually like gaining too much uh, items, right? The other, uh, you know, uh, events and stuff, you're not really rewarded like crazy, but they, the, the recent events has been very, has been actually more rewarding than they usually are. But I still feel like Sunfest should be over the top rewarding. I think it really should be the, the event that people look forward to all, all year. And you should tell your friends, oh, uh, or your friend comes to you and say, hey, I, you know, I was playing the last day of Sunfest and I got all these stuff. And then you would probably tell your friend and say, hey, you should have been playing all this time because you got actually crazy reward for every single time. So a daily quest, uh, more daily quest, bigger daily quest would be something that I think we should have been implemented. Then I also think that we should have like the quest line. We always get a quest line, you know, starts on the first day. I think we should have a quest line for uh, in two parts. So there's one part the first week and one in the second week. And I think it should be like a uh, 11 step quest, like quest line uh, both times. So uh, basically 22 steps if you do it all. And you can, of course, if you go start it uh, at the second week, you can, of course, do part one and part two at the same time, but you should do part one the first week and then you there's actually something to come back to other than the daily things and whatnot to the second week as well so yeah one for the first week sec one the second week as well so it's sort of like you can come back and you can get and it shouldn't just be a repeat of the first part it should just be a continuation of the uh, of the first week you know so you do the first 11 steps and you do you know the last 11 steps or 10 steps, whatever, but it should be at least like in the double digits. I feel like in the quest steps, I think six steps is a little bit too low, even for like technically with 12 steps and doing the whole thing. But it should also be a thing that people should be playing like a lot, you know, it should be playing like top uh, of all the stuff. So, and the last thing that I do have for the Sunfest idea is a global challenge. So, 
uh, a global challenge for doing like 10 million, for example. This is something that I got the idea from, from Pokemon Go, where you uh, basically have a global challenge, where the global challenge is to do or catch uh, like 10 million Pokemon or something like that, and then you get a reward for it. And I think the same thing should be for Trove. You know, have a global challenge that's like on the top of your screen that everybody helps uh, by doing like 10 million dungeons or something else or opening... I don't, I don't think bo uh, boxes would be a thing, but just dungeons, like 10 million dungeons, everybody. So every, when everybody, um, or you can you can also divide it into two uh, weeks, you know, the first week and the second week, where there's two different global challenges, where uh, 10 million dungeons the first week, 10 million the other one. And then everybody, every, when everybody does a dungeon that counts as a dungeon, because the you know, there is a counter for how many dungeons people do. You can go that and see that on a leaderboard. Uh, but the leader, you can see that uh, and then do a global challenge for every single person, right? Like everybody pitches into this global challenge and then everybody gets like a crazy reward if we uh, do uh, complete it. I'm not saying a Ganda or something like that, but something that is very cool and very uh, amazing. Uh, it doesn't have to give max or anything like that, but it's just something that we all work to and something everybody's doing anyway, right? So this was the ideas that I had for the Sunfest 2022. I don't know if I'm too late on all this, but yeah, just wanted to mention all of these things. So I know this video became a little bit longer, but there is a lot of things to cover and I tried to boil it down to the most essential things, but you know, ideas, they take time. They also take time to uh, put out into the world. So anyways, I hope you guys still enjoyed it. Thank you guys again. Go to the description, go to the comments, put your ideas in there. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.